Cool, I think we're live. Welcome back to another live stream, guys. Super excited to do this. We are doing another live Q&A. Uh, as usual, you can ask me anything about college applications, homework, study tips. I'm gonna be here for about 45 minutes to an hour answering any questions that you guys have. And yeah, we are once again playing Minecraft. Yesterday we had to face the unfortunate reality of, uh, of a creeper kind of resetting us. So uh, <laughs> hopefully we do well today. What's up guys, people are streaming in. We have Tex, Connor, Uncle, Human, ABC, Ninja. What's up guys, thank you for tuning in. Hello, hello, what's up, what's up? People are tuning in, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, you'll allow us 10 diamonds. So you guys remember, yeah. It, uh, yesterday was like an unfortunate, uh, yeah, it, it was an unfortunate event. And I'm curious, uh, the people who are tuning in right now, were you guys here yesterday? Just go ahead and say yes or no, I'm kind of curious. What's up, what's up, uh, my life, Victor, Chance, Emma. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in. Great to see everyone here. <laughs> Zyram already with the $2 super chat. Tips for a third grader, please. So, okay, we have a lot of yeses. So I guess the inside joke of that super chat is that yesterday he sent me $2 and he asked tips for a third grader. And I thought he was being legitimate. Like, I actually thought there was a third grader in the live stream asking for advice. And, uh... I answered the question legitimately until I realized that he was just trolling. So it was kind of funny. What's up, yellow, yellow, yellow? Great to see you again. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, you were sleeping, CC? I'm so sorry if I if my stream woke you up. I guess. Tips for a bad teacher. Ooh, okay. I think that's interesting. I feel like most of my teachers in high school were pretty decent. I feel like like here's the thing. I feel like the teachers who are kind of like bad sometimes tend to be like the smartest ones. I don't know, that, that's at least my experience. Even in college, I feel like like the, like the super geniuses, right? Who like know, a, know a subject inside and out, who have been studying it for years, tend to be the ones who are worst at explaining it because in their minds, like everything is just so intuitive, right? So when they're trying to explain a subject to you or try when they, whenever they try to teach it, it may sound a bit unclear because everything is just very obvious to them. Has that been the case with you guys? I'm not too sure, but I feel like it tends to be the case for most students. How do you study fast? How do you enjoy studies? Um, let's see. How do you enjoy stuff? I feel like you can gamify studying to a degree. You can make it more enjoyable by like almost competing with yourself, or maybe you can start something amongst your friends as well. Like one thing that I've talked about is like an accountability group chat or even doing a thing where it's like you and your friends have like a collective reward pool and whoever does the best that week or whoever does like the most work gets the reward pool. Um, that was like the rough concept. I can go into more detail if you guys want me to, but. And then of course, I think a large part of enjoying studying is just to have like a study environment that feels nice to be in. So for example, Maybe you have like some nice lo-fi music playing in the background. Maybe you have like a nice fresh set of like stationery or something. I think sometimes whenever I would get like brand new school supplies, like, and this is gonna sound so nerdy, like I would actually enjoy studying more. Like I remember when I first got like the TI-84 plus CE calculator, like I genuinely enjoyed my math homework a little bit more for like a solid week or two, as nerdy as that sounds. Do you guys have the, uh, the I'm kind of curious. Well, I think not a lot of you guys have the TI-84 because I think we have a handful of younger viewers here as well. And I'm sh sure you don't really need that calculator for your, for your classes. All right, and by the way, guys, if you were just tuning in, feel free to ask any questions about study tips, homework, college apps. I'm gonna be here answering your questions for quite some time. So uh, hopefully we, you know, we can get through a bunch of questions here. Can we do Kahoot? <laughs> we might do Kahoot towards the end of the stream. I feel like that might be like a, a thing we do from now on to, just to wrap up the streams. All right, what's the best way to study? I keep quitting after 10 minutes. Okay, if you keep quitting after 10 minutes, I'm assuming that to a degree you're getting distracted by the work, or not by the work, by, um, by like your phone or by like the environment around you. So tip number one would be to eliminate every distraction to the absolute best of your ability. So of course you guys have already heard the advice to set time limits on your phone and do all that good stuff. And that is helpful, you should do that. 
but I sometimes think time limits aren't enough. I feel like some students are even better off if they just give their phone to like a parent or a sibling and have them keep it away for the duration of your study session. And that way you won't even feel the temptation to like pull up your phone or get distracted or to, you know, avoid your work. I think also if you're like losing motivation after 10 minutes, maybe you're starting with too hard of a task. Uh, what I like to do sometimes is I like to do like the easiest things first and just get them th out of the way. And that kind of helps me build momentum and just helps me keep going. Like for example, every single morning, I'll go through my emails right away. I'll do like small quick tasks that just make me feel a bit more productive and motivate me to keep going. And we are getting a lot of questions in the stream chat. Here, I kind of want to go caving. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, you know what? I need, what am I doing? I didn't even get wood. I, it's so hard to like play while like also trying to answer questions well. What's your cubing uh, personal best? I think my three by three is like a 20, 25 seconds. I'm not too, I'm not like that fast. Oh, uh, Duck, what's up? Great to see you again. I'm not in high school yet, but if I get a few Bs in my first year or two, how much will that affect me getting into MIT or a top school? So if you get if you get like a one or, if you get one or two Bs when you're a ninth grader, that won't affect you that much when it comes to elite college admissions, and that's because top colleges tend to be pretty lenient when they're evaluating ninth grade uh, performance. For example, Stanford and the UCs, they will recalculate your GPA, and I believe they'll just discard like your ninth grade grades. So don't worry too much. And I believe we got another four. Oh, we got two more super chats. Thank you so much. So let's see. So Ethan, let's see how to make an admissions essay that stands out. That is a great question that I'll answer. Let's see which one's shorter. We have another question as well. Uh, Shihab, Shihab, awesome. What topics are on advanced algebra? Okay. Advanced algebra, I'll answer that one first because unfortunately there is no like straightforward answer. It's really just going to depend on your school's specific curriculum. But advanced algebra, I would recommend looking up a curriculum online. I don't want to misguide you here, but generally uh, it won't be too, too bad. I think when I think back to algebra, I kind of remember doing like slope intercept form equations of lines, maybe a bit of like, you know, other kinds of like polynomials, but let's see. Okay. And the question was how to write an admissions essay that stands out. So here I will cover that at a relatively high level. Oh, my camera's getting blurry. I'll cover that at a relatively high level and then I'll go into more depth if you guys want me to. So the college admissions essay is probably like the most important essay that you'll write. Uh, it's the essay that pretty much goes to every single college that you apply to. And, you know, it's like the keystone essay of your college application. And so now you guys may, might be wondering, you know, what should I write my college essay about? And the reality is anything. Like your college essay is supposed to communicate your essence to the admissions office. And ultimately, I want you to imagine the admissions officer reading your essay and then like, figuring out a reason to almost accept you. So for example, if they read like your essay about this really cool biology project that you've been involved in for like a year and a half and you made a ton of contributions, after they read that essay, they might think to themselves, like this student is super intellectually curious. They're really involved in research. You know, they're making strides academically. I think they would be a great fit for our campus and maybe our biology department. Uh, and some students maybe write about like an unusual upbringing. For example, they might write about, you know, having to grow up in like unusual circumstances. And maybe when an admissions officer reads that, they realize, you know, this student shows strength of character and this student would bring a very interesting perspective to our college campus. Uh, the reality is I can talk for like 30 minutes about college essays. And I think <laughs> we might not have time to do that this stream. So what I'll also refer you to are two videos that I've uploaded. Uh, one is called How to Write a College Essay, where I kind of talk about my best college essay advice for like 10 minutes straight. And then I also have another video that's titled, Watch This If You're Applying to College. It's like an almost half hour video. And in there, I talk about college essays for, for a good chunk, so. Okay, okay, so now let's, <laughs> let's try to play this game as we're also answering questions here. 
when is your new video coming out? So I'll be honest. So the new video has a sponsored segment and I'm getting that approved. The video is pretty much 95% edited. It's going to be coming out in the next three to four days, hopefully. And here's the good part. I already have my video after that already recorded. So that should be coming out just like a week after. And I'm already working on the video that comes out after that as well. So hopefully for the next few weeks, you guys will be seeing more consistent uploads. Shout out to Gabriel. Thank you for tuning in. Great to see you here. All right. Uh, let's make our wooden tools. What other questions do we have here? High school tips. Okay. Here's the one thing. I feel like these streams get way more interesting when the questions are just like great conversation starters. So I want you guys to think of like the most interesting questions that you can think of and ask them in the stream chat. For example, like two days ago, someone asked if my parents were strict and then we got into a conversation about, you know, strict parenting and kind of how that affected my upbringing um, and how that affects like the upbringing of students in general. That might not be super exciting to you, but to me, it was an, an interesting conversation. But let's see, what questions do you guys have? Oh, Tiger is asking, are they videos or shorts? They're videos, like long form videos. Go hard, did you quadruple major in MIT? No. Uh, if I read off what I studied, it sounds like I quadruple majored, but no. I double majored. My first major was computer science, economics, and data science. And my second major was business analytics. Do you like snakes? No. What's your favorite food? Anything spicy. I will be, I'll be honest. Um, Mexican food, maybe even Indian food. Let's see what other questions we have here. Great six tips. Are you guys, <laughs> I, I don't dive into middle school tips unless I know we have like a bunch of middle schoolers watching. I try to keep my advice a bit more tailored for like underclassmen to upperclassmen or I guess just high school students in general then. Do you like Korean food? I haven't had it often. I've had Korean barbecue though, and it was fantastic. It was so good. Perm? No, my, my hair is actually curly. <laughs> wow, these questions are coming in so fast right now. I. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I kind of want to go find food before I try to get like stone tools and all this other crazy stuff. Let's just find like a patch of like chickens or something. Uh, let's just go swimming across. Why not? Uh, let's get some fish maybe. I'm like trying to hit the fish while I'm looking up at chat. I'm not even like looking where I'm aiming. Uh, oh god, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And we're about to lose health. There we go. What computer to get for school? I think if you're going to college, so I had a piece, uh, I had like a, like a Windows laptop, but in my opinion, I got a Mac recently and I low key wish I got a Mac in college. I feel like Macs are just so much more convenient. So here's what I say. I feel like if you have like a workstation, get a PC or like Windows computer, that's what I have right now. But for traveling for school, uh, probably a, a MacBook. Thoughts on FBLA and DECA. Both great clubs to join. I wasn't really part of them. Well, I joined DECA for like a week and then I didn't really continue with it. But both fantastic clubs. They're relatively common. Um, I think if you go far in them, like with any extracurricular, like it'll stand out and it'll boost your application. But I don't think DECA or FBLA are like activities that alone will just like slingshot you into like an Ivy League, right? Yale or Stanford? That's funny. So I was debating between Yale or Stanford. And I'm, so my final three choices when I was applying to college, uh, came, or I guess my final decision came down to Yale, Stanford, MIT. And for me personally, I knew I wanted to study computer science. So that kind of eliminated Yale right away. And uh, MIT was just closer. Like Stanford was just way too far. And so that's how I uh, decided to go to MIT. Well, go hard. Was life good in middle school? Ooh, okay. Middle school is low-key kind of rough. Because I feel like in middle school, I've said this before, everyone is just trying to be cool. And I feel like it's not until high school and especially college when 
like just being yourself becomes much more acceptable, I feel. So for me personally, middle school was a bit tougher. But what I will say is this, if you're in middle school right now, like fully embrace who you are, embrace like your weird hobbies. Don't worry about what other people think because trust me, your weird hobbies are going to come back and only benefit you in the future. And I'm speaking from personal experience here. So when I was in middle school, I started a, like a YouTube channel, a gaming YouTube channel. And I remember like, like <laughs> some of my friends were like kind of going to poke fun at it. And I was like, oh my God, is this weird? Should I stop doing this? I didn't stop. I continued it. And uh, I, I'm doing YouTube to this day. So what are the questions? Oh, okay. How about when you're absent, how to keep up? Have your friends, I, I have several of your friends just text you updates. Um, I text your friends at the end of the school day. Like make sure they send you the work, whatever updates, whatever things you need to work on right away. I feel like even if you wait like one or two days, like you'll forget, you'll care less. Uh, things will start like, you know, like your to-do list will start growing very quickly. And then I think, it also helps to email your teacher like the day that you miss class. Maybe just ask for a quick update or, you know, check to see if she, uh, they can even send you like the assignments that you missed. What phone do you use currently? I use the iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro. We, this is like terrible Minecraft performance right now, but <laughs> hopefully you guys don't mind because I'm doing my best to answer questions. And I can't believe we haven't seen like any chickens or cows. Maybe we did. Maybe we just walked by it and I didn't notice. Do you work a nine to five? I do not. I did my and so, uh, my sophomore summer and my freshman summer. And I will be honest, I, I really, really did not enjoy it. Shout out to JS Tries. Thank you for tuning in. Really do appreciate you. And by the way, guys, my Discord is pinned to the stream chat. I'll be hanging out there most likely after the live stream. And I kind of hang out there uh, every single day, usually. If not, I lurk there like every single day. So hope to see you guys there. And we got a $2 super chat. <laughs> Thank you so much. So uh, uh, betrayed my ask for wrist tips, please. <laughs> Six tips. <laughs> wrist tips? Um, I'm not going <laughs> to. That's like an inside joke. It's like... Uh, I feel like on my Discord especially, people are like, Riz tutorial when, and I'm just... <laughs> I've never really answered the question. Okay, let's see. What's a passion project? That's a good question. You might, you might come across this term pretty often, especially in like the college admission space. So a passion project is essentially... It's something that students... It's like a very deep initiative that students take on in order usually to stand out to college uh, colleges so for example doing research writing a book starting an organization building a robot starting a web app founding a startup you know there's many different options but it's usually one of these more intense endeavors that requires a lot of creativity sometimes technical ability you know a lot of passion drive intelligence and the whole purpose is to just like show colleges like hey look at this amazing thing i did here's why you should try to you know here's why you should accept me or here's why you should consider you know uh you know accepting me chase appreciate you thank you for the support do you like reptiles not not really i don't really think about reptiles that often Cubing personal best, like 25 seconds. Hunger bars, yeah, we are, I feel like we should honestly just like restart. Wait, I, oh, it's a beehive, cool. Yeah, we, honestly, I, I'm honestly just ready to restart. Should we just go up to a mob and just like, yeah. <laughs> Duck, let's see. Will one of these uh, endeavors make up for some bad grades? If you can't tell me, I'm scared about it. If you can't tell, I'm scared of getting bad grades. So a passion project, 
nothing. Okay, I'll be I'll be completely honest. Unless your endeavor is like, oh, there you go. There's a cow. Cool. Unless your endeavor is something just completely out of this world, it usually won't make up for bad grades. Like your GPA, your transcript is one of the most important things. And it's like the first thing colleges will look at when you're applying. So let's just, let's just end the game right here. Yeah. Let's just restart. <laughs> So like a passion project will not usually be able to make up for low grades unless it's something just truly exceptional. Um, but I don't want to get your hopes up too high. All right, what questions do we have? IDK is pretty upset. He just said no in all caps. I'm sorry, yeah, I feel like it was just best that we just restarted, re like reloaded our health bar. We didn't really get anything anyways. Okay, you know what? Let's try to take this more seriously. Is Minecraft academic, Gohar? It can be, if you wanted to. <laughs> I feel like redstone contraptions, for example, like that, that, those take a lot of skill. And I feel like the sort of thinking those require very on par with like programming. How can I not procrastinate? Ooh, okay. We've gone over, I feel like we talk about procrastination every single stream, so I'll try to answer this in like 10 seconds. Okay, three, two, one method, use a timer, start an accountability group chat, do the easiest tasks first, try to do like the minimum viable step first. So like what that means is do like the smallest thing you can do to make even the tiniest amount of progress. So for example, if you have to write an essay, just tell yourself, I'm gonna grab my pencil and sit at my desk and that's it. And usually that'll snowball into, you know, a pretty productive uh, studying session. Did you ever struggle with grades in school? In college, it, things got pretty tough. Thank you for six great tips, George, for that. Of course. Well, I didn't really do six great tips in this stream, but a lot of the tips that I've covered also apply to uh, middle school. Ooh, what's hacker culture like at MIT? That's a good question. So if you guys aren't aware, MIT has a very renowned hacker culture. And essentially that means MIT students like to pull off a lot of pranks on campus. For example, a couple of years back, they put Captain America's shield on top of the dome. They put an ambulance on top of the dome, a police the dome. Sometimes they'll just hang up random banners off building. It's really just fun stuff. If you guys want, I can show you some MIT hacks right now. Just go ahead and say yes or no. Maybe we can pull up YouTube and check some out. Uh, let me know if you guys are feeling that at all. Let's see, show, yes, yes. All right, <laughs> it's mostly yeses. It's like, a, it's like a couple of, okay, yes, yes, yes. All right, let's do it. Let's check out some MIT hacks. How about that? And by the way, once again, don't mean to be obnoxious about this. Join my Discord server. I'm trying to make these streams way more consistent. You know, I have a lot of fun doing them. And here's what I want to happen. I want to stream every day, but in that case, I want you guys to come through every day. You know, maybe every single day at nine or 10 p.m. Eastern. I feel like it could be a fun time. Okay, so. MIT hacks, I'll show you guys a couple and then we'll go back to Minecraft. I have it up in the background here, um, so don't worry. Let me open up my browser. I'll switch my window in just a second here. So let me go to YouTube. All right, and let's turn off. Okay, so let me just show you some MIT. Or maybe we can just look at some images if you guys wanna do it more quickly. Okay, so MIT hacks, for example. R2D2, oh, let me hide the chat, I guess. Let me just drag this up here. Okay, so you guys can see it a bit more clearly. So this right here, for example, they put R2D2 on the MIT dome. This is, oh, in, in 1999, so a while back. Here they put a fire truck on the dome. Absolutely crazy stuff. And here's a, a Captain America shield that I was talking about. They also, okay, so this right here, oh, this is a cool thing. I made a YouTube short about this. So this is a game of Tetris on one of the buildings at MIT. And there's like a little controller just kind of off to the side here. 
that you can actually use to play this game, which is so, so cool. Maybe I can show you guys like, a, oh, there we go. MIT hack, Tetris on the MIT green building. Check this out. This is actually so cool. My God, I've seen the short, that's awesome. I'm glad. This is like such an old video. They, they need to put up like a newer video <laughs> of this. But as you can see, they're playing Tetris on the green building, which is just so, so cool. Okay, so that's it. I'll go back to Minecraft now. Let's do this. Wow, lots of people want to want a shout out all of a sudden. <laughs> shout out to K, uh, KHSG, thank you for tuning in. Someone is saying play Fortnite. I don't know if Fortnite is on, on par with uh, with my brand here, but if you guys want me to play Fortnite in a future stream, maybe. Okay, so yeah, the title of the stream was about how to make a comeback. So we could talk about that for a little bit. But honestly, I feel like a lot of the questions that I'm answering, like my answers are pretty much how to make an academic comeback. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just go find... Let's make some wooden tools and find food. That's what we're going to do right now. Oh, Mr. Dono. I'm so, wait, let me scroll up. Zyram, I'm sorry about that. Uh, let me keep scrolling, scrolling. Oh, I can't scroll any further here. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you post your message again in the normal chat, I'll try to catch it. But the chat is going by a little fast right now. How do I keep getting distracted after completing only a small part of an assignment? Ooh, okay. So... This might help. Try to switch what you're working on more frequently. So for example, 20 minutes of math, or maybe like 30 minutes of math, followed by like 30 minutes of science, followed by 30 minutes of history, instead of doing like uh, larger blocks. Um, this is the, essentially called interleaving. So like 30 minutes of math, history, science, then just repeat it, math, history, science, math, history, science, and just keep doing those sessions until you finish your work. Maybe that sort of novelty can help you stay a bit more focused because I feel like if you just do like three hours of math straight, then it'll definitely get hard to focus after some point. And by the way, guys, if I'm not answering your questions, feel free to DM me your questions on Instagram. My handle is Gohar's Guide. I try to uh, answer a handful of DMs every single day. Here, here's my handle, just in case you guys want to follow me on Instagram. Okay, so let's do, oh, let's get... Make some sticks. Let's do that, that. Let's make some more sticks. Let's make our sword. And let's go ahead and, we don't really need a shovel, honestly. That's just whatever. Let's go and find some animals. I wanna get like as much food as possible right now. And fish is just too tough right now. I feel like fish doesn't have great saturation either. Set up tour. You know, if only I could move my webcam around, but. <laughs> It's uh, it's pretty basic. I've talked about it before. It's water bottle, a book, couple notebooks, a ring light, a webcam. I have three monitors in front of me, which is really nice. Uh, my glasses, phone, charging cable, headphones. What defines a good leader? Jason, I think you were here yesterday as well, if I'm not mistaken, but that's a great question. What defines a good leader? And just in case if you guys, um, I guess, aren't aware, if I haven't mentioned it yet, leadership is very important for college admissions. Like if you want to stand out to top colleges, a lot of them want to see students who have, you know, have shown leadership in some capacity. And there is a Harvard survey that shows that most accepted Harvard students have had one to two leadership roles while in high school. So I think what defines a good leader Ultimately, it's someone who has actually done something to like change the nature of whatever organization they're part of. And I'm kind of answering this more so in the context of high school, not so much like, you know, like a, like a company leader, for example. I feel like the best sorts of leaders are the ones who take their role and then take it very seriously, right? They're not just in it for the title. Like they'll start a new initiative. Maybe they'll, you know, spearhead a fundraiser. 
uh, maybe they'll like, like try to, to campaign for like a brand new role in, in a club that they're part of. And I think if we're talking in terms of like characteristics, I feel like it's someone who can definitely inspire those around them. I feel like if you're part of a club, if you can inspire your members, you know, inspire them to show up every single club meeting, like that makes you a good leader because trust me, a lot of students will start clubs and you know, they'll have the first few meetings and then people just stop showing up. So I feel like if you as a leader can actually convince people that your organization is important, interesting, you know, worthwhile, I think you're doing a good job. By the way, guys, I had an idea recently. Uh, I think someone just said two hours to board exam. Well, first of all, good luck. And it was your message that just reminded me of this. I've been thinking about doing a study with me live stream. Are you guys down for that? The only challenge is I have to come up with like a cozy sort of setup because I feel like you can't do a study with me stream if it's just like a basic boring setup. You need like music and maybe like a timer in the corner and you know, it needs to be sort of a vibe, right? Like who wants to just tune into like a boring study with me stream? Everyone's saying yes. Okay, I am down to do this. I want us to work together on this. DM me any ideas that you have on Instagram or join my Discord and message me there because I, I wanna figure out what to put, maybe like a plant on my desk or something, you know, like, or like a cool like, <laughs> like steamer. I don't know, I've seen like these like oils. I don't even know what they do. But my friend had one on his desk and it made his environment just look very, like very peaceful. Something like that maybe, I don't know. We gotta figure out how to set it up and make it look. Duck, uh, my robotics team, I'm the lead coder, got to state. I'm coding a device that reads Lego colors and shapes to make Legos accessible to blind and visually impaired. I'm struggling with shape, advice. Duck, first of all, I think that project is incredible and I wish you the absolute best of luck. Unfortunately, I haven't really worked on too many computer vision projects, so I can't really give you such specific advice right now. Oh, and love your videos. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Is there a live tomorrow? Probably. Probably. We'll see. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we got some food. We're not down too many hunger bars. Oh, we have some chickens here. Come on, let's go. Please tell me there are more chickens as well. I missed another dono. No way. Did I actually? Let me. Oh, wait, you're trolling me. Okay. I, I, I should have known. So Zyram is known for posting or like <laughs> sending super chats that are just like troll messages. And I think he's just trolling me at this point. So uh, not, not, not going to fall for it right now. Can I study sick? I don't recommend it. I have studied sick, but it's usually just, I feel like if I'm, if I have like slight allergies, I might be able to study, but once I start getting a headache or like sinus pressure, it, it's wraps. Like I'm not studying, I'm not doing anything. All right, what do we got? Uh, yo, first go hard I made it too. Love it. Thank you. Glad that you can make it. <laughs> David is just posting Kahoot over and over and over again. We'll run a Kahoot at the end of the stream. Maybe it'll be like a, like a a tradition from now on, just the way that we wrap up these streams. Uh, cool. Go ahead, do a quiz about your channel. You know what? First one to tell me how many views this channel has, we'll get a shout out. How about that? First one to post the exact view count of my channel. Let's see, let's see, let's see who gets it. Uh, let's get some stone. Let's just make a furnace and start cooking up some food. Oh, I was talking about views in total, not not viewers on the stream, but I, <laughs> I should have specified. I should have specified. Okay, so I guess Emilio, you got it. Thank, uh, congrats. It's a little over 2 billion, which is mind blowing. And let's see, let's see the first person to post the viewer account. Zaram, shout out to you, 294.
Right, people are still posting the uh, the view count. I feel like there's like a slight uh, stream delay here. Okay. Do you guys want to hop on a multiplayer Minecraft? Like do party games or something on Hypixel? Go ahead and say yes or no in the stream chat. Because <laughs> I'm down to kind of see the survival world through to its end. Like I want to see the Ender Dragon and play this through. But um, it's going to be a while. It's going to be like maybe a couple months of streaming before we even approach the end. Like we're gonna have to do all of this, get our tools, get iron, get diamonds. Zarm, there you go, I see your super chat now. Love it. Okay, people are saying yes. Let's do it. Uh, Supreme, you're my favorite YouTube. Appreciate it, thank you. That honestly means a lot. Cause there are so many fantastic YouTubers out there. Wait, I'm curious, is there a YouTuber that you guys would like to see me collab with? Like what YouTubers do you guys watch besides me? I feel like that's, I never really asked you guys that, but I'd be very, very interested to know. Okay, so I'm on Hypixel. If you guys wanna join the party, feel free to post your username in the stream chat. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go and do some parkour. PewDiePie, Dan TDM, <laughs> Mr. Beast, Mark Rober, your brother. My brother and I actually posted a video today on Con Squared. It's our join account. Uh, it's on TikTok and on Instagram and on YouTube. Haley Bailey. I met her briefly once at a uh, at a YouTube event, actually. Mr. Beast. Mark Rober. Mark Rober would be so cool. He um he actually did the commencement speech at MIT la this last year. Guys and that. That's funny. Did you make Khan Academy? I did not. You guys are posting some pretty interesting names here. Kurzgesa, I think that's how you pronounce it. Soup Timmy, I've met him. Soup Timmy is dope. We actually did a, a video together. I was in one of his one of his shorts. This was a while back though. All right, let me just party some people as well. I love Soup Timmy. Yeah, no, Soup Timmy's great. He's very, very talented. Veritasium would be cool. Nick Theo Giovanni. Oh, he, he's a really cool YouTuber. It's like Nick and I did like a, I don't know, like a, like a student meal prep video of some sort. That could be fun. All right, so it's funny because you guys are posting actual YouTuber usernames and I'm trying to find like the Minecraft usernames of the people who want to join this part. Okay, party me. Oh, there we go, Sam, Justin, I got you. Party Sam. Here, guys, post your like usernames, uh, easy e -Y -X -D. Okay, party, easy e -Y -X -D. Okay, I'm not allowed to invite players, which... Did I just join someone's party or what's going on? Oh, okay, party leave. Sorry about that, Justin. Uh, party, here, I have to, I'll be the party leader so I can like, invite other people from the stream. All right, everyone's spamming Kahoot. <laughs> you know what, how about this? It'll be a small party, it'll just be me and Justin. Justin, appreciate you tuning in, appreciate you getting on so fast. Let's do a little 2v2, let's see who wins here. And then we'll do some Kahoot, how about that? Oh, uh, let's see. Germanium, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Entering ninth grade, limited to algebra one or geometry, considering honors bio, seeking advice on electives for an engineering path. What does AP mean? Uh, limited algebra one or geometry. Mm, I took geometry my ninth grade because that was or geometry honors because that was the hardest class my school offered. I think if you have the choice between two, I think I think algebra, whatever course will get you on the more accelerated math path is my advice. Uh, considering honors bio. Yep, I took honors bio my freshman year as well. Very interesting. It seems like we had like, the exact same classes almost or exact same like math and science classes. And I'm lagging so bad right now. This, this is ridiculous, wow. 
And what does AP mean? Uh, AP is advanced placement. So essentially AP classes are college level classes that you can take in high school. And co co college level, you know, interpret that loosely. I feel like actual college classes are much harder. But generally, uh, you know, top schools love to see students who take AP classes or IB courses or just, you know, whatever hard courses your school offers. Yeah, we are lagging so bad here. That was, that was terrible. Okay. We'll call it there and let's do some Kahoot. Let me pull up Kahoot here. Okay, uh, Kahoot Explorer. And by the way, guys, once again, join my Discord pinned to the stream chat. Would love to see you guys there. Because um, I think I might start announcing some streams there, and I also want to plan out my study with me streams with you guys. So love to see you guys, uh, your guys' ideas. Okay, so let's see. Museum of Science. Let's pull one up here. Okay, what do we have? Space volcanoes, meteor shower. Let's do meteor shower. Let's continue as guest. And guys, join as fast as you can. I think we'll cap it at 100 players. And I will hide my face because I usually forget to. All right, there we go. People are joining. Cool. Sorry, I'm kind of hacked the coop. <laughs> no. <laughs> and there we go. The chat has frozen, meaning everyone is trying to join as fast as they can. That's what we love to see. What's your favorite Mexican food? Ooh, that's a tough question. Probably quesadillas, honestly. All right, let's see, let's mute the tab. Oh, unpin, let's mute. What's your biggest regret? That <laughs> Nothing comes to mind right away. And I feel like that, that conversation will just take the stream in like a whole different direction. So I might not answer that right now. All right, there's some serious stream lag. I'm so sorry about that. I see some people, um, Still posting like my view count, <laughs> which I asked about like 20 minutes ago or not 20 minutes ago, but like 10 minutes ago. Oh, we already passed a hundred. I didn't even notice. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and begin here. What's a meteor shower? All right. First question here, multi-select, which things show up in the night sky? Choose all the correct answers. All right, here we go. Meteor is the moon, planets, or stars. All right, let's see, do a collab with Healthy Gamer. I'm not too familiar with this content, but I've seen his clips like here and there. All right, and all four were correct. Yeah, some of these questions are just once again, ridiculously easy. <laughs> and we have your mom in first place. Nice. True or false? A meteor is actually a star. What do you guys think? All right. Yeah, and I think I will actually stop by my Discord server after this stream, or after the stream. So as soon as this stream ends, head to general, Head to general channel in my uh, Discord server, and I'll be there to say hi to everyone. So, all right, your mom still still in first place. Question five: uh, Which things are closer to the Earth? Are you related to Salcon? I am not. 
though a lot of people think we do. Or a lot of people think we are. <laughs> All right, next question. Question seven, puzzle. And we have double the points. Put these steps in order with the first step at the top and the last step at the bottom. Jessica, appreciate the support. Thank you. Did you get imposter syndrome at MIT? Freshman year, honestly, I did. Like it was, it wasn't that bad to be honest, but I think <laughs> after my first physics exam, it was, uh, I was kind of shocked. All right. How important is university prestige? I think it depends on whatever industry you're trying to go into. Banking, consulting, it matters a decent amount. I feel like tech, people say it does, but, or some people say it does. But in my opinion, not too much. I feel like with tech, it's more so just your skill set and like the personal pro the projects that you've worked on. All right, there we go. Speaking of tech, CS, number one. All right, next question. Which word means a streak of light in the sky? Can you please talk about tips uh, on how to make a comeback? Yeah, so. I think a lot of the questions that I answered or a lot of my answers during this stream, you know, fall into that vein of how to make an academic comeback. But, uh, okay, so I think at a very high level, it's time to just kind of set aside at least a couple hours a day to just straight studying. I feel like, or I guess what I mean by this is like, I think the one thing that you can do is have a set study block every single day. And whether or not you have work coming up or you know you have a lot of work, just spend that study block doing whatever work you possibly can. And what'll happen is that, you know, sometimes when you don't have that much work, you'll just end up getting ahead in a bunch of your classes. And this sort of consistency is just going to help you stay afloat once, you know, certain classes start picking up the sp uh, the pace. All right, and most of y'all got that correct. All right, question 10. Most meteors are caused by rocks the size of mountains. All right, I just got a really weird notification from YouTube. It said my stream cont uh, contained video from someone else and that my stream might be blocked. Uh, I'm not sure what video I include, probably the MIT hacks, but wow, that was, uh, that was surprising. All right, which word means a time when there are more meteors than usual? Uh, can you give us a link to con squared? Yeah, of course. Let me pull it up on TikTok. I think Instagram is actually our biggest account, but TikTok, so Instagram. All right, here we go. There's the link. Wow, pretty, <laughs> almost everyone got this correct. Love to see it. Chicken nugget up 18 spots, congrats. All right, question 13. Meteor showers happen more than once a year. Rose is in 36th place. Aiden Games is in fourth place, nice. Ooh, uh, Joe's a good question. Do pre-college summer uh, programs make any difference on my college applications? And if so, when's the best time to take it? Pre-college summer programs, 
especially the ones that you have to just pay like two or three thousand dollars for or i guess um they tend to be in the thousands usually they don't help your application that much i recommend them only if like you're genuinely interested in the subject matter and if you can afford it and if you have the time but don't feel like you need to you know enroll in one of these pre-college programs All right, where does the dust that causes meteor showers uh, come from? This is the final question. Comets, Mars, the moon, or the sun? All right, and two, one, and let's read off the leaderboard. All right. Number three, 8,300 points. You have Aiden, congrats. In number two with almost 87. Uh, thirsty dry, I think. And uh, Exlizor with 9,100 points. Congratulations, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that round of Kahoot. That was fun. Um, but yeah, guys, I think I'm going to call it for tonight that was a lot of fun hope you guys enjoyed the stream i had a lot of fun um yeah as you can tell i'm a little bit tired right now i don't know why i just got hit with like a huge wave of sleepiness but i'm gonna stop by my discord like i promised for a little bit so if you guys want to head there right now link is pinned to the stream chat and if i did not answer any of your questions feel free to dm me on instagram i hand uh, i answer a handful of dms every single day but guys this was fun we're going to figure out how to, you know, set up the study with me streams very soon. I'm excited for those. But yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you again.